Crokinole skills tip number six. Last week in tip number five, we talked about the concept of getting your opponent's button knocked out of that 15 circle all the way into the gutter. And we even had arrows to help you visualize and reverse engineer your shots. <laughs> Was that really just last week? It feels so long ago. Winning at Crokinole isn't always about being able to make every single shot. Sometimes it's just knowing what you're able to make happen on the board. And that is what this week's tip is all about. This week's tip is similar to last week's tip or drill in that I want you to practice and see what you can and cannot get off the board. But this time, once you get warmed up, I want you to intentionally make this drill more and more difficult for yourself. The idea is that this is an experiment to see how close your opponent's button can be sitting to that peg and you're still able to get the off. Now this is something you can just naturally practice when you're playing during a game against an opponent to see what you're able to pull off and what you can't. And it is also something that you can sit at the table and do and just constantly be setting those discs a little bit closer, a little bit closer. As you do this, I want you to test yourself and see which angles and positions you're able to successfully get the off and which ones you're not and you're better off to play it safe for a little bit of a bounce back and wait for a better opportunity on your next shot. One of the things I absolutely love to do while I'm in the shop banding crokinole boards is listen to podcasts and great audiobooks. Something I was listening to the other day was an interview with a fantastic character by the name of James Altucher. He's recently written a book called Cut the Line. What he does in that book is he debunks the theory of the 10,000 hour rule, which states that you need to invest 10,000 hours in something in order to get really good, world-class proficient at it. And instead, he's replaced that with something he calls the 10,000 experiment rule. He looks at literally everything in his life as an experiment. And really, the, the great side effect of this is in an experiment, you can't fail. You can't be wrong. You can't make mistakes because all you do is you try something and you get feedback. That is exactly the attitude and energy that I'd encourage you to take with this drill. You just practice this and you're not good or bad when you make a shot. What you're doing is you're getting feedback and learning what you're capable of doing and then you can take that into your next crokinole match and be even more effective in making decisions of whether to go for the off or to play it safe. Now that's your assignment for the next week is to go ahead and experiment and play and get that feedback to see what you're able to do inside that 15 circle. And what we've noticed is one of the most popular tips we've done was a challenge. So that's what we're going to get back to next week. A really fun challenge that's going to allow you to practice a great skill that's going to serve you in future crokinole matches. Stay tuned. When you say next week, do you mean next week or do you mean 2022? I forgot to say... I forgot to say... Next purple match. You can take that. <laughs>